Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So in today's, today I'm going to be talking about do polyester strings really cause tennis elbow? Does it really hurt your wrist? Does it really hurt your shoulder? Um, the answer actually is yes, it can, right? But how? Okay. Hold tight. So when polyester strings first came out, um, they actually came out on tour first because my first experience with it was in, let's say, the mid 90s um, when, like, we we're I was stringing at a tournament and some they started giving me these reels um, that pretty much didn't have a name on them. They were like hard wire, uh, and before that, it was kind of all gut like a lot of the pros just use natural gut and then this stuff started coming and i'm like man this is a pain in the ass to string and it's, it was super hard um you know just just doesn't it just wants to go straight it is not very soft or malleable so like ever since then like polyester has kind of taken off it went from the pros to you and i right so I mean, I would say the polyester market is pretty much like 40 to 50% of the string market nowadays. But back then, it was stiff, firm, hard. Um, that, that Those first generation polyesters didn't really hold tension very well because it was just, just hard and firm and there was nothing to it. There was really not a whole lot of elasticity to the string. Um, so yesterday, uh, a lady came in and she broke her string and she said, oh, I need a demo. And I said, well, how about this one? Which was her exact same racket and it had poly strings on it. And she said, oh, I can't use poly strings. My arm hurts, right? Her normal string is Technofiber um, X1 Biface. So that's the softest synthetic around. And she saw the poly on the demo racket and she's like, I can't play with that. My arm's going to kill me. So I was like, she, so I was like, really? You've, you've tried before? And she said, yeah, my arm like really hurt the time I've tried. And I said, well, how long ago was that? She's like, oh, maybe five, six years ago. So I was like, well, I was thinking in my mind, you should probably try it now because it's come a long way since then. Um, I mean, in the early days, we pretty much had this stuff. ALU, excuse me, uh, Big Banger Original and ALU to start, right? So these are actually arm breaking type of strings. They're nice and they're firm, they're hard. Um, if you string these things too tight, that's gonna give you tennis elbow, okay? So that's number one is if you string these, if you string your rackets too tight with the poly, you're asking for tennis elbow. I had a guy come in this morning um, and he had the original pure drives and his, I guess his wife spoke to me because he was surprised uh, when he came in he's like, oh, she took it down to 56. So it was a pure drive 100 original from like 15, 20 years ago. And it, it was a full bed of ALU. And I was like, yeah, I told her not to string it at 65, you know, 55 probably would be on the higher side, would probably match what you do. I mean, maybe 20 years ago, your arm can handle it, but like I maybe string one person at 65 pounds. That's just way too high. You're pretty much asking for tennis elbow at that point. Um, but why though? Why would 65 pounds with a stiff poly like this cause tennis elbow? Well, imagine if you, held your fist like this and you just punched a wall like that over and over again right that's kind of how this is going to feel right it's like you're you're throwing a board that's stiff like a string that's stiff that's not going to move or be elastic and you're constantly striking a ball with it right the harder you try to hit it right the more it's gonna hurt in your elbow the more it's going to hurt in your wrist, the more it's going to hurt in your shoulder, right? Because you're trying to get ball speed, 
but you know, you're probably swinging for the fence to get the ball speed or that's your natural stroke. So every time you hit it hard, it's going to hurt something because it's so stiff and so hard. So when these strings first came out, they basically told you, take it down 10%. So if you normally string at 60, do it at 54, right? It's kind of the same rule of thumb today. Take it down about 10%. If you do a hybrid, maybe take it down about six to eight percent. But um, any type of poly, um, you should definitely string it looser. Even the pros know this. Um, I told you I strung jack socks at 30 pounds, right? Fed goes anywhere between 49 and 55, depending on where he's at. Um, you know, so even the pros kind of string between, let's say 30 to 55, and 55 is mostly on the high side. Most of those guys go like in the high 40s. Um, so that's, so too tight, too stiff of a string will cause tennis elbow. Fun fact about Luxalon. Have you guys ever had uh, sutures, stitches, um, like that you've scraped up or cut, had a major cut and had stitches done? Well, Luxalon is the number one brand of stitches sutures right so you have actually used luxalon before if you've ever had stitches before because they manufactured those first before manufacturing tennis strings so ask your doctor i'll bet you they know what luxalon is even if they don't play tennis all right so the second way to, uh, that poly strings can cause tennis elbow is when the strings go dead when the strings go dead um, the ball strikes the strings and it pretty much does this like this, right? So that vibration, that, that uh, absorbing, right? So it resonates in the, the racket. So let me give you an example. This pure arrow banana tour, right? Was strung over a year ago, uh, never used just sitting on the wall and it's strung with RPM rough 16 gauge and it was strung at 55 pounds right listen to this right it's probably at 30 if we're lucky right now so it pretty much lost all of its tension lost all of its, its elasticity uh, so when you strike this you're hitting um, with dead strings. They're pretty much done, right? So I, I tell people when it's like this, it's pretty much like your old pair of pajama pants that you just love, but won't stay on you anymore because the elasticity of the pants are gone. You just like it because it's there, um, probably super soft and comfortable but the elasticity is gone and it's constantly falling off of you. So you're constantly having to pull it back up because it falls off, the elasticity is done. That's what's happening here. So what, what you're doing is sending the vibration into your wrist, sending vibration into your elbow, and also your front of your shoulder is gonna feel that too. So something else, another racket here, that we strung, oh man, this was probably six months ago. This isn't quite there to that, but let me have you listen to this, right? There's still a little bit of a high pitch to it, right? I can test it with the machine, but when you hear doing, 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 that's when your strings are super done. Like they've been done like a year ago. So this is kind of, kind of pretty much done. This might have a little bit of play left in it if you can hear it, right? But, but that needs a string drop. This is gonna need a string drop real soon, right? So that resonating vibration that's coming from these dead loose strings can cause your elbow to hurt, can cause tennis elbow. Good news is with the new technology and strings, they are getting softer, they are uh, getting better tension maintenance. Um, I would say, you know, this pack will last you 10 hours 
of tension maintenance. And then it kind of starts declining. Uh, this probably less. You know, this stuff is just hard, um, hard string. You know, like this stuff came in, out kind of early on too, uh, which was a little better. Not much, but a little better. Now, in the last, I would say, five years, uh, strings have become more co-poly, which means that they're little strands of polyester kind of woven together to soften up the string, you know, to take some of the shock from your arm. Um, like, you know, stuff like your favorite Hyper G and my favorite Confidential, you know, these are definitely softer uh, strings and easier on your arm. But my suggestion to you guys is, you know, string it loose. Like my favorite tension for polys is 48 pounds. 52 um, if you're a big hitter and you notice the tension loss. So 48, 52, depending on how you play. And also, um, don't let it sit in there too long. I mean, I would say three months max, played with or not. Take it in have it redone and you know try it at 48 i know it's weird for a lot of you to go in and and string it at 48 pounds but your arms will love you for it all right you'll you'll learn to control the ball a little better uh, without taking a, a bigger swing let the polyester string do what it's supposed to give you more spin right give you more zing give you a little more feel right? Let it do what it's supposed to. String it loose. You'll be happier for it. Your shots will be happy for it. Your shots will be better for it. So don't string it tight. Restring it every three months. Tennis elbow will not happen. All right? Make sure your, your, um, your form is good too. So don't over hit. All right? Don't over hit. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.